Hello friends, welcome to Calligraphy Tips with Lindsay. Last week I got an email asking how to prep nibs. Here is my preferred method. All nibs come with a protective coating. This thin film on the surface of your nibs makes them hydrophobic. The metal resists water and ink. As you can see here, fluids bead up and don't flood across the full surface. This is the opposite of what you want when writing. You want the ink to flood the surface like it does on this well-used nib. So, the coating needs to be removed when you're ready to use a new nib. There are lots of ways that this can be accomplished. Some people like to run a flame over the tines. I don't like to do this because the heat can change the performance of the nib. Some people stick their nibs in soft old potatoes. I really don't like this method either. It's never a good idea to jam the tip of your nib into anything. Some people use spit. This can work very well depending on your spit, but it might cross a sanitation line for some. Personally, I like to use liquid gum Arabic. It's super easy, and I always have some on hand in the studio. To prep the nib, put a little gum Arabic on a paper towel or a cotton swab and gently rub it around both sides of the nib. Make sure the gum Arabic comes into contact with all parts of the nib where ink needs to adhere to the surface, especially the very tips of the tines. Don't miss the top. A bead of ink can sit on the top and slide down at the wrong moment, leaving a blob while you're writing. You don't have to scrub. Just make sure everything gets a good coating, then gently wipe off any excess and you're ready to go. As you can see, the nib is now hydrophilic. The water spreads all across the surface and down to the very tip. It's a little hard to see with the clear water, so here's another look using some inky wash water. What's your favorite way to prep your nibs? Let me and everyone else know in the comments.